Hi, Nicolette here with Inspired Living Feng Shui. Did you guess? Did you guess what the most important feature of the home is? If you guess the front door, you are right. In Feng Shui, the front door is considered the mouth of Qi. So think of your body for a second. Everything that nourishes your body comes through the mouth. And it's the same with the home. Everything that nourishes the home and everything that nourishes the people who live in the home enters through the mouth or the front door, which is why it's called the mouth of chi. Today, we're gonna to talk about hidden front doors. And if you have a door that is hidden from the street, it means that chi might be having a hard time finding you. And if that's the case, then you might not feel as nourished as you would like to be in life, nourished by life force energy. A hidden front door means that the design of the home has a room or a garage protruding in front of the front door. That means you can only access the front door from one side of the street. So that ultimately means that there's opportunities only coming from one side when they could be or should be coming from two sides. There are tons of these hidden doors here in California and I can't figure out why. Oh, architects, please come talk to me. Look at this house. Where's the front door? It's tucked way back over here. This house has a beautiful tree in the front yard, which is great life energy, but it's blocking the entrance. It's blocking your ability to see the front door from the street. Here's another one. The path is nicely adorned with the fencing, but the door is tucked into that little nook. And this one, you have to walk all the way up that path and around the garage before you can find the front door. Here's another example where the front door is completely blocked by the garage. I just don't understand this design feature. <laughs> and what happens with feng shui is the, the garage becomes this obstacle that you have to conquer every single day before you can get your energy out into the world or before you can pull the energy into the home. It can be really depleting in life. You have the same problem with condos and, and apartment buildings. Oftentimes apartments are built sideways to the street to take up as much space that a narrow lot would afford. So that means every single door of the actual apartments faces the side or away from the street. Thus you have hidden doors. In a condo complex like this, when you have a stairwell that leads up to an upper unit, the stairs are blocking the front door. There's an apartment tucked back in there. So if you do have a hidden front door, there are several ways that you can bring in a feng shui cure. You can light it up, illuminate the front door. You can paint it a beautiful color. You can hang a wind chime by the side of the door that opens. And all of these cures are there to direct Chi to the front door for it to be saying, hey Chi, come over here. Here's my front door. Please come into my home and nourish me in my life. If the floor plan is viable, and you have a budget, you can always move a front door, but I caution you, the front door again is the most important architectural feature of the home. So try the other feng shui cures first, but if you still don't feel inspired and uplifted and like you're really moving forward in life, then you might consider moving your front door. But before you do, please call me so we can do ceremony. We wanna bless the front door and thank it for all the hard work it's been doing for you and tell it, basically tell it, we're just gonna move you over five feet and then we're gonna give you your job back. I'm anthropomorphizing your front door, but in feng shui, everything is energy and we wanna respect the energy of the front door. We don't wanna cause it any trauma. Oh my gosh, there is so much to know, so much to learn. Hey, it's a good thing that I have some workshops coming up. I have one last Intro to the Magic of Feng Shui workshop in 2016, and that's in Denver, Colorado on December 11th. Just 15 seats available, and early bird registration ends on November 30th. So sign up soon and save. And then join me in 2017 for my Feng Shui Immersion course for Inspired Living. That'll be four hours once a month for four months and this will be offered in both Los Angeles and in Denver, Colorado. Each month, we will dive deeply into just two guas on the Feng Shui Bagua and 
two areas of the home that relate to that gua. For example, we will start in January with the wealth gua and the love gua to get our New Year's racing off with an energetic head start. And we'll also look at the kitchen for wealth and prosperity and the bedroom for love, sex, and passion. It's a small, intimate group because each of you will receive personalized one-on-one -on -one attention to your floor plan. Not only will you have me for the 16 hours, but you'll also have the mastermind of your class. And together, we'll all create dynamic feng shui life plans that we can start implementing right away. If you shift the space in your, in your environment, you shift the space in your heart, you can start creating the life you so desire. Early bird registration ends on December 25th, Christmas Day. Knowledge is a gift, and this gift will keep on giving for the rest of your life, and I would so love to share it with you. Please join me. Okay, now, before you go, go outside, take a look at your front door. Do you have a hidden door? If so, leave me a comment below, and I'll be happy to reply. So till we meet again, live big, shine bright.